What got you started in the game of lacrosse? Uh, my high school coach, Guy Witten, in 1974. I was a freshman in high school. He was our uh, um, he was our head lacrosse coach. He handed me a stick. It said, Mike, no more catcher in baseball. You're going to play attack. And I said, play attack? I'm in. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Changed my life. So last year you were injury prone. You know, had a number of injuries. Are you doing anything different this year to eliminate some of those injuries? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, a lot of those were uh, just freak kind of things. But I do think we're doing a lot better job working on our soft tissue, uh, uh, you know, body core, hamstrings soft tissue stuff to, to event, uh, prevent those kind of uh, pulls and, and strains. But on the whole, the injuries we have were, were more or less random, more or less freak things out of our control. And so far this fall, you happy with what you've seen with your team? Uh, not going with so far so good. Uh, really pleased with where we're at fall ball wise and uh, uh, attitude, effort, leadership, depth, um, I think we all got to, um, those categories are, you know, we feel, feel very, very strong about right now. And what are your thoughts on the shot clock and how has it changed the game? I think the shot clock for, for year one under our belt, um, my guess is has changed the game for the, for the better. I think st there's still a lot of nuances in the shot clock that we're still trying to figure it out. But for me, it's not the shot clock, it's the clearing clock that's changed the game. You know, getting, uh, the ball across the midfield line in kind of a hurry uh, has been very advantageous to the riding team. I think that more than ever has changed the game in, in so many ways. And lastly, Coach, um, your thoughts on recruiting, how it's changed, and just a message to our parents, if you have any recommendations or any thoughts on, you know, what would you say to them? I would say to the parents in, uh, in general, um, let, let the players, let your sons and the recruits and the coaches work everything out. Be, uh, be in the back burner, be a bystander, watch it, uh, advise as you need it, I need to. But again, at the end of the day, uh, the players and the coaches, both the high school coaches and the college recruiters, um, they'll work it out. And, uh, and I just think for the parents, uh, the parents to get too involved you know, a lot of times, more more times than not, uh, that doesn't work necessarily in your son's favor. And in terms of the adjustment from high school to college, has it changed a lot over the years? I think the shot clock has really changed the adjustment. We've always talked about the speed of the game from high school to college. Now you throw the shot clock in there, it's faster than ever. And I think that part of it, you know, the high speed decisions you have to make have really changed uh, uh, the opportunity for a, a freshman to maybe step in like he could have prior to the shot clock. And back to the recruiting, um, how has it changed over the years? I think mean, the club thing has, has changed the game more than ever. You know, when I first started, it was all the high school coach. And, you know, you, you went to the high school to recruit the players. It was school visit. It was a home visit. Those things you don't even see anymore. You know, everything's done in the summertime. Back in the old days, it was done in the fall. The official visit uh, in your senior year was a huge piece of the recruiting process. Now, the official visit is an afterthought. The decision is well made before you get to be even a senior. But I do feel the new rule change a year ago to, to slow it down and, and allow the player not to be rushed into a decision where we can't talk to the freshmen and sophomores. That's what the rule is. You know, you're talking to juniors, which you should be talking to. And I think for the parents, the recruits, and the coaches, for the ones I've spoken to, that's been a much better situation across the board. In my approach as a club director and owner has always been, Mike Press will tell you whether your son can play for him or not. I'm not gonna tell you, you know, uh, whether or not you can play at Bryant for Mike Pressler. That's, that's how we, we like to do it. You know, leave it up to us and, you know, let the, let the club coaches, let the high school coaches and, and, uh, and the players and, uh, like I said, the, the college coaches and recruiters, we'll, we'll, we'll all work it out and uh, be a great fan. Begin to the parents, be a great fan. And listen, you know, interject your thoughts where needed. And, uh, and I always say in that situation for the parents, more times than not, the less is better. All right, well, thanks again, Mike. Appreciate it My very pleasure, much. My pleasure, Jack.